People should get a colonoscopy because it is a very good way of preventing colon cancer. Colorectal cancer is a very common condition in the Western world. It's the second commonest cause of cancer death after lung cancer. But unlike lung cancer, we can prevent the development of colorectal cancer in quite a number of patients. The reason for that is very simple. The overwhelming majority of colorectal cancers start as a benign polyp, which is a small little benign growth on the lining of the bowel that can be removed. And if we remove it at colonoscopy, for example, we can remove these small growths, then you stop the patient developing a cancer. In general, there's been a big drift towards colonoscopy as the gold standard for examining somebody's colon and therefore trying to rule out colorectal cancer. The reasons for that are really pretty straightforward. Um, the examination uh, looks at the whole of the colon, can identify lesions such as a polyp um, that can be biopsied or removed at colonoscopy. It's a safe procedure, it's a well-tolerated procedure, and it's a pretty effective procedure. Basically, uh, what's involved is that um, the patient needs to take some laxatives to clear the bowel out, um, because we need a clean bowel to be able to see all the way around and look for small little lesions. We use over-the-counter laxatives that most patients uh, find using a combination of things such as Miralax and Gatorade. It's pretty easy to tolerate, um, and that's simply done the day before the procedure. There are some well-established red flag symptoms that might indicate um, something such as a colorectal cancer. By far the uh, best known would be bleeding from the bowel. What we're talking about here is somebody who begins to pass some blood on a regular basis and that does not change and it doesn't go away and lasts for about six weeks or more. So above and beyond that, what people should be looking for is change, a change in the way they wear. So if, for example, their bowels would normally work once a day. We're looking for somebody who, again, their bowels are now working three times a day, and that's been the way for the last four to six to seven weeks. It has changed and hasn't gone better, got better. A change is what we're looking for that persists. Similarly, if they suddenly start developing crampy pains in the abdomen um, associated with um, bowel motions, again, Crampy pains lasting for six weeks or more, doesn't go away, need to get that checked out. These are the classic signs um, of um, colorectal cancer. So bleeding, crampy pains, or a change in bowel habit.